So, the master of defense and counter attack by Emmanuel Lasker. This is this game is between Frank James Marshall and Emmanuel Lasker in St. Petersburg 1914 and um, Lasker here um, uses uh, old Indian defense. Life is like chess. If you don't see yourself as a winner, then you cannot perform as a winner. Start with d4 and then knight f6 responds by Lasker c4 and then d6 right here and continues to knight c3 and then knight b d7 and then knight f3 then e5 and then e3 right this modest move is less promising than e4 right than e4 so for example this one e4 so uh, this is a uh, most promising because it closes the diagonal of the uh, c1 bishop and then the response here is bishop e7 well uh, in those years the king's engine was not considered a sound defense not even last card considered that in uh, g6 for example g6 right here no but last card choose uh, e7 since almost a century later, the next move has the shortcomings of 5A3. Fire, uh, E3, for example, E3, for example, that one. So, uh, again, now it is the F8 bishop that has its dimension curtailed. Uh, it would be much more active than a long diagonal. And then the white here dispenses at response and bishop D3. There. And then castling. Last card castle here. Queen c7. Uh, I mean, queen c2. And then rook e8. Well, a natural move preparing to drop the bishop back to f8 here. So last card want the bishop back to f8. Or c6 is good anyway. Good to instead taking a king at d4 would be premature because it frees at c1 bishop. So here the opponent castling at the king side and then bishop f8. Oh, there. Well, this normal locking move has a tactical shortcoming. Uh, and uh, b c6 is better. So, for example, c6 is better here. Why this thematic move is useful because it controls the d5 and open a way for the queen among other virtues. Well, although a uh, relative lose of h6, so for example, the h6 uh, was worth considering too, and only bishop f8 uh, preventing the game continuation. The close character of the position white modest setup allow black sam but not completely away and then the opponent continue at the knight g5 here attacking at the king side so marshall exploits the draw drawback in the placement of the black pieces he manages to solve in the f file placing the black king in great danger and then g6 uh, the case is that f8 is being occupied at the knight h6, there is a bad move if um, if move to, for example, that one. That, that is bad move. It's not possible because there is a bishop h7 check. Right? Bishop g7. And that was made there. Yeah? So...
if drop here and then there is a knight I got it so because there is a queen and bishop so that's bad move so last key here move at the g6 then f4 wow uh, only 10 moves have been played and black is already in a big uh, tricky situation he has to try to prevent from white from opening uh the f file for after a subsequent f takes g6 for example f takes g6 so here f takes g6 uh here uh, f4 so for example f take g6 and then g6 would become weak dangerous and a sacrifice of j6 as clear so as a continuation here um Lasker takes d4. Okay, he takes d4. And then um, Marshall responds at he takes d4 too. And then Bishop g7. There, uh, that was we called uh, Panketo. Well, there is no time for um, knight g4 or h3 or knight h6 because the c1 bishop uh, because the c1 bishop here protects the g5 knight and white would follow with a very strong f5 so marshall continue to f5 f5 there and then uh, his goal is to uh, he has almost achieved his goals. The mainly, mainly the uh, um, weaken the king's position and open lines against it. And this move is better than continuing uh, continuing development of bishop d two or which can be made by a knight g four something like that. So last case here spans as knight g four. Uh, last key response to knight g4 there well he initiates a hand-to-hand -hand fight well that's your choice he said well anyway he counteracts in the center counterattacks in the center uh, rather than settling for a passive defense so then for example knight f8 for example that one so uh, would be better if going forward and attack so as a response by martial knight f3 uh, going back and then c5 there so through break uh, this was the idea even though behind the development and less active black wants to open up another front in the center this could be a little too much because um white has many possessions there and after that um marshall takes g6 f take g6 there and then f takes g6 too responds by lasker well the another unconventional resource based on a concrete reason is strongly met by bishop g5 so uh, there is a bishop g5 here strong limit for example um if there was um h takes g6 and then bishop g5 so here i mean take that one so sorry sorry bishop g5 here so attacking the queen and then there's a knight so that was very uh uh, difficult situation well the game is at a critical point there value of its move issues and a mistake can easily be decisive 
and then h3 so the response of Marshall is h3 well after this black previous move is wholly justified black is starting to steer the game in his favor uh, white had logical um had a logical for example it's much better if going to g5 but marshall choose the h3 and then um Lasker here takes d4 c takes d4 and then bishop g5 well anyway of course Lasker was not going to play the timid knight e3 for example knight e3 by Lasker for example a knight e3 or example like this one and so attacking the rook uh, reaching similar positions to was already been sent by so for example bishop takes e3 and then rook takes e3 and after that is knight d5 so there and after knight d5 there is a rook e8 going back to rook e8 and then rook a e1 so um last card don't want that position so let's go back uh, to c takes d okay so c takes d4 c takes d4 and then bishop g5 and then Lasker and knight to e3 so there well the, this is what we call the uh, zin swang so zin swang so is the key to defense taught out by Lasker steering the game in his um favor instead after for example queen a5 so for example going here queen a5 here so and then uh, there would be a follow of a b4 so b4 and then knight uh, or and then knight d5 so for example or can be knight d5 to or bishop b5 or knight b5 here so Yet again, white's dynamic advantage would be decisive here. So after um, knight to e3, after knight to e3, and then Marshall here responds as queen f2. Here, well, the sad um, bishop takes e3. So for example, uh, for example, bishop takes e3 here. Let's go back. So, for example, bishop takes e3 and then d takes e3 would have lost both a tempo and a pawn. So, this is a delicate because there is a passive pawn here. So, Marshall chooses here to go to protect the king. And then after queen f2, queen b6 here. And then that, that was an excellent move. The queen provides yet more support to the wedge of, of e3, right? So, again, um, Marshall here goes to d5 by the knight. d5. And then knight takes d5, obviously. And then c takes d5 and then um, knight to c5 d5 i mean so knight to c5 well black attacks on d3 bishop here d3 bishop uh, is about to complete his development by connecting the rooks so the rooks when the bishop is removed then the all black both rooks will be connected and then 
uh, farther more as an extra pawn. The risky tactical duel initiated by Lasker here is if our example is bishop to, uh, to knight to g4. Knight to g4 uh, in our previous move. But um, Marshall here responds as rook ad1. I mean rook a d1 and then if rook a e1 for example rook a e1 if uh, here if rook a e1 the simple here is to bishop b7 here to support only the rook is possible although the bishop take h3 so for example h3 well, seems playable too because there is a uh, damage here at the king side. So, going back, rook a d1, I mean d1, and then uh, bishop d7, and then queen h4. Queen h4 here, queen h4, attacking the king side. And then bishop a4, then the bishop uh, a4 here, there, attacking the rook. So, oh, where he, when you see a good move, look for better one. It's a famous tech term for Laskers. So, Marshall here responds as an uh, bishop takes g6. So, where's the g6 here? So there is a g6 here. Bishop takes g6, a sacrifice. Marshall doesn't defend the same resilience with Lasker. So for example, b3, for example, a1, b3, example that one. And then that was a defense here by good by Marshall. But he sacrifices, sacrifice at the bishop in g, g6 pawn. And after bishop g6, then last year here responds as h takes g6 and then bishop d8 bishop d8 here um d8 wow it's a good move so after bishop d8 this was an idea here yeah so White wants to play the knight g5 here. So, for example, this one knight g5 with tempo, but black has enough defensive resource. Resource, I mean, also inadequate was bishop h6, right? f6, inadequate. So, the queen takes d8. Okay, queen takes d8. And after queen takes d8, well, it is not clear whether it was better or to temporarily, whatever. <laughs> then Marshall here continued bishop g5. I mean knight to g5 and then queen takes g5. What a move. Force, but black. Force, but black gets enough material for the queen and the pass pawn on d4 will be very important so queen takes b7 and then um, bishop takes the d1 bishop takes d1 here after bishop takes d1 queen takes g6 here and well with the threat here in the position, the rook f7. So, for example, the prayer is the one. Then, how should black defend? If, uh, I mean, how could black defend if there is a rook there attacking the seventh file? So, that would be a problem by Lasker. But after queen takes g6, Lasker. Um, 
move a brilliant move here can you guess where is a brilliant move you can pause the video if you want but the brilliant move here is bishop to c2 right bishop c2 with this deflection black quartz all dangers and exploits his pass pawn with tempo so okay queen takes c2 after queen takes d2 c2 d3 here d3 and then queen d1 um if f2 for example if queen to f2 and then the best reply here is to rook f8 here simplification yes yeah, simplify and that wins for the block so again let's go back yeah marshall goes to queen d1 and then a5 an excellent move also uh, i mean a5 there an excellent move straightening strengthening the c5 knight right and the c5 knight and thus providing decisive support to the pass pawn on the three so to queen to g4 queen is running all around the board <laughs> and then queen uh, rook f8 excellent move too not giving any respite since white cannot exchange rooks black brings his a8 rook into play with tempo again so after this the rook d1 by knight uh, by marshall and then rook a e8 so then queen g6 and then after queen g6 rook e2 okay controlling the uh, second file so with with the threats of rook ff2 so for example rook ff2 uh, here the rook, the threat of the rook, rook f2 after this move of the rook e2 that was a threat and then d2 against which is no defense and that is a big win for the uh, black so here after um rook i uh, e uh, rook e8 to e2 after that rook f1 then rook f1 d2 by last word d2 oh there's a passive pawn and that was very dangerous okay after d2 um rook takes f8 rook takes f8 and after rook takes f8 king takes f8 and then queen takes d6 check d6 check here and after queen takes d6 rook to a uh, king to d8 and after rook uh, king to g8 the queen d8 check again here and after that the king eight seven you're hiding the bishop hiding behind the bishop by king and then uh queen h4 check and then bishop h6 so here then the notification stops again uh this is a win for actually marshall here resign after the bishop h6 there's playmates so again you can laskers you know laskers is most uh, known for the defense and counter attack he is very master of defense and counter attack He's an accurate and energetic player. Well, this fight took a similar turn to if you see the video in game one and once more Lasker did not consider passive play. Well, he went on complications with a risky movement as in previous game. It had reputation, but from a practical the point of view, it was not easy to find the wide range of uh, possibilities that the position offered well there is an error previously at the h3 uh, review or review of our video and they vindicated lasker 
uh, from that point onward he seizes control of the game okay neutralize white's attack and won uh, with elegance giving another display of his great tactical visions like uh, if you remember the queen takes g5 that's well a brilliant uh, excellent move in the uh, bishop to c2 uh, that is an excellent move that was yeah, cannot be seen immediately by 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 the masters or pro players and just so that's what we're all about players uh, playmates and hope that you enjoy and you learn so much about how to defense and counter attack by master grandmaster lasker thank you so much don't forget to like comment share and subscribe